Okay guys, so eccentric pistol swaps. The unilateral exercise that forms the foundation for being able to build up to a full pistol squat. But it is great, even in the beginning stages, to throw this exercise in as it does help develop unilateral stability and gain an understanding of how each limb works independently within the squatting motion. Now for this one, you'll need a box or a bench that's set roughly at knee height. The lower the box is, the harder it's going to be. But in the earlier stages, it's more about coordination, so I would recommend going with a box that's slightly too high and working your way down. You can stand with your feet hip to shoulder width apart. Looking straight ahead, you're going to lift one leg off the ground and hold your arms out in front of you to act as a counterbalance. From here, you want to break at the hips, so sit your bum back slightly, keeping the weight through your heel on your supported leg. And then you're going to focus on squatting down on the supported leg, keeping the free leg up nice and high, as straight as possible. This just allows you both hips to stay roughly at a similar height, helps your abs stay switched on, and it just helps you control stabilization of the movement. Continue to lower yourself down as slowly as you can and touch the box as lightly as possible. Now when you first go down, due to coordination issues and the muscles being unfamiliar with the exercise, chances are you might fall when you reach the bottom position onto the box. That's completely normal to begin with. The goal is to build up enough tension and enough joint position awareness to be able to lower yourself down under control before progressing on to a lower box. Make sure you repeat for the desired number of reps on both sides.